fish crisis recently. Didn't you know that? Those who love to eat fish. And we had to import the Gigi or Galunggong from China, which probably was caught in the, in the West Philippine Sea. <laughs> okay. In our wet markets, the only fish that was the cheapest and most available was the tilapia during the crisis. Yes or no? Ah, yes. Okay. The tilapia is an introduced fish from Africa. It's not native, like the milkfish. And uh, it is the most important cultured freshwater fish in our country and the second most important farm fish in the world. Okay? In 2017, we produced 260,000 metric tons or more. Thanks to our technologies for sex reversal, hatchery, and culture. We culture this fish in freshwater cages, freshwater pans, freshwater uh, pans, pages, pans, and pens, and brackish water pans throughout the country. Okay, with about maybe four kilos per capita per year. We were First in the world in tilapia production in 1986, we're now number five, next to China, Egypt, Indonesia, and Bangladesh. But the Bangladesh na buta na yun tayo. Okay? Of course, China is the biggest country and producer. Okay. So, uh, not, ho not all, however, is well in our tilapia farming industry. It's always sad to, to give problems. And really, Torres, uh, William Torres was saying, why do we always have problems? Well, I said, if you don't know what the problem is, you, <laughs> you do not know what to do. Okay. okay. I assessed the production data of the Philippine Statistics Authority from 2017 to 2016. And you know what? I found out that we only have an average annual production rate of 0.71 percent that's very very low the BFAR Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources projected that we, sh we should have a 3 percent annual decrease for 2014 to 2016 but you know what the AAPR was it was zero flat flat line no? so what's happening what went wrong okay Nauubos na ba tayong tilapia? Kailangan na ba tayo mag-import ng tilapia from China? Huwag <laughs> naman sana. Nakakaiyak na yan. Okay. If we look at the data, Brackis Water Pans gave us the highest production rate of 4.8%. We have about 200,000 and we're not hectares and we're not using it fully for shrimps and bangus. So, marami pa. And we have developed hybrids of tilapia like Molobicus and the best, we call it the Brackish Water Enhanced Strain of Tilapia. So, yun ang pag-asa natin. We can still produce more. But the production in pens and cages in lakes and reservoirs will remain low because we have already exceeded the carrying capacities of these waters. Of these waters. Our team today is carrying, carrying capacities. So, sa tubig, we are already exceeding carry capacity for inland waters. The hope of the future is the ocean. So tamang tama yung ginagawa ng NAS. The future is the seas. E pinip, napapaligiran tayo ng karagatan, pero ilaagaw naman ng ibang bansa. So we have to stand for that and defend for rights. So, what do these figures mean? The development will be in Mindanao for freshwater pans because in Luzon, we have already uh, used up a lot of areas and water is becoming less and less. Look at the Metro Manila problem, water shortage, di ba? So Mindanao, ang dami pang tubig, ulan. Tsaka sa highland and uplands, kulan ang pagkain. So the future growth of tilapia will be in Mindanao where we only produce 6%, 92% from Luzon and 2% from Visayas. Okay. The other hope is in mariculture parks in our coastal waters where we can raise tilapia that are so tolerant like the red tilapia in cages. 
Okay? We have about 40,000 hectares of this. And at present, we have less than 1,000 hectares of fish cages in the seas. Okay. So, what are the problems of our law production? I can talk and conducted focus group discussions and visited farms and had key informant interviews with 56 people. Some people said, kulang naman yan. Well, if you do a national survey or a SWS, 1,200. But if you talk to the right people, focus group discussion, you don't have to go throughout the country. Just get the experts and stakeholders. Sit down. I used a questionnaire that included socioeconomic, institutional, technological, and climatic factors. What did the results show? 68% said the biggest problem of our farmers is high water temperature due to climate change. But what are we doing about it? You see, in ponds, the temperature goes up during summer beyond 32 degrees. That is the limit of the fish survival and growth. Okay? The second problem, 58%, said it was due to lack of government assistance, especially extension. This has been told over and over by many speakers. Sir, kulang ang extension natin ng information. Technologies are with the SEUs, but hindi nakakaabot sa mga nangangailangan. Nakakayak. So what can you expect farmers? Wala nang pera, wala pang alam kung nung gagawin. Okay. The third problem, is poor breed of tilapia. Ano ba yan? <laughs> we have a lot of <laughs> new, new, new hybrids, morobicus, we have the best, we have the fast, whatever. Hindi nakakarating. Okay. The fourth problem, fourth na ba? <laughs> uh, for, 44%, I hope it's right, <laughs> said it was a uh, Lack of uh, gov uh, the government, poor breed of tilapia, lack of, uh, what's, the, what's the fourth one? High cost of production. <laughs> Main leafage. Walang notes kasi sir eh. Di ba? No notes. I don't look at the slide. I look at your eyes. Eye to eye ito. <laughs> That's the slide. Oh, okay, then, feeds. We should focus on feeds kasi 60% of the cost of production is feeds. Pinapakay kasi we import fish meal and soybean meal. And the last one was lack of capital. I think everybody knows that. You always need money. I don't know why, for this and that. No? But this is true for agriculture and fisheries. So what can be done about it? I'm closing up in two minutes. <laughs> for high temperature in pans, we can use shading. Pag mainit, we use a hat or an umbrella. You can do the same for your pans. Cover the sun. If it's cloudy, less. You can reduce temperature using nets or even aquatic plants like kangkong, water hyacinth, or the pischa. You can reduce it by two to three. This has been experimentally proven. For the next pro problem, lack of government assistance, beef up these extension workers we have with the LGUs, which have the mandate. Since we devote it to the LGUs, kulang sila ng tao, kulang sa uh, training. Use the SUCs to train them. For the third problem, we have to accredit more private hatcheries to disseminate quality fingerlings to farmers. For the fourth problem, what's, what's that again? <laughs> a production cost, use substitutes for fish meal and a soybean meal by using fermented copra meal and sweet potato which have been proven to replace uh, this by 30 to 50 percent. And lastly, Lack of capital, you have to give farmers low interest rates. Don't let them fill up a lot of papers, collaterals, loan free, uh, loan uh, interest free, and low interest rates. But do we have any good news? Well, in 2018, the PSA said that we had production increases of 5 and 11 percent for the second and third quarters. We don't have the fourth yet from the internet because of good quality fingerlings and feeds uh, <laughs> uh, increased uh, what do you call it? increased fish pans and so on so lastly may I thank the NAS for its support and thank you and I hope the tilapia will be also your fish